Hi there and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. Last week we talked about what a clinical study is, including a clinical trial. Today we're going to talk about a different term, clinical investigation. Stay tuned. A clinical investigation refers to a clinical trial or a study conducted in humans with the intention to assess the performance and the safety of a specific medical device. Pay attention to the keywords intended purpose, performance and safety. Intended purpose here means the use for which the device is intended according to the data supplied by the manufacturer in the clinical evaluation. Performance in this case means the ability of the device to achieve its intended purpose as stated by the manufacturer. Here you'll see examples of medical devices, some you may already know from our past videos such as thermometer, syringe, blood pressure monitors, breast implants, knee joint replacements, stents, sets of surgical gloves, plasters for all sorts of wounds, a cochlear implant, list goes on. In fact, today there are estimated 2 million different kinds of medical devices on the world market. It's important not to mix the terms clinical investigation and clinical evaluation. Clinical evaluation is a process of collecting, assessing and analyzing all clinical data relating to a device in order to evaluate whether there is sufficient clinical evidence to demonstrate conformity to the relevant regulatory requirements by the manufacturer. The clinical data for the clinical evaluation can be obtained from various sources such as academic literature when similar devices have proof of equivalence, we've also covered equivalence in a separate video, other sources include data from clinical experience related to the product, for example, post-market surveillance data or data from a clinical investigation like in class 3 devices and implantable devices. Similar to drug studies, clinical investigations have to ensure the device is safe for use in humans and meets the intended purpose of the manufacturer. This is called a conformity assessment or CE market. We've also covered conformity or CE marking in a previous video, such as the one above. Hence, a clinical evaluation is required to demonstrate this conformity with the general safety and performance requirements, and this applies to all classes of medical devices. Regarding the classes of devices, they can fall under 1, 2A, 2B, or 3, depending on the intended purpose of the device and the risks. We'll cover these in a separate video. The CE marking should be attained before the device is placed on the market. For this to happen, the device can either be evaluated by the manufacturer themselves or through a clinical trial depending on the clinical data available already. If no clinical data is available, the evaluation cannot be done, thus the missing data need to be collected within a clinical investigation. In addition, several requirements such as MDR, guidelines or standards must be observed when creating the clinical evaluation. These include those from MEDEV, MDCG, and those from ISO 14155. According to the regulations of medical devices, the MDR, the manufacturer is obliged to carry out a clinical evaluation during the entire life cycle of a medical device, also after the device has been placed in the market. So this includes conducting a clinical follow-up of the medical device in the market, also what we call post-market clinical follow-up. Once the device is on the market, the clinical evaluation must be updated throughout continuous monitoring of clinical performance and safety, especially the technical adaptations and optimizations of the device. These data must be re-evaluated, including the data from the post-market surveillance. In USA, FDA approval always requires a full clinical trial for all devices, whereas in the EU, a device will only be placed in the market or put into service if they comply to the regulations when duly supplied and properly installed and maintained, also used according to the intended purpose. In the EU, the notified bodies are involved in the approval process of the device. For class 3 implantable devices and for class 2B active devices that's intended to administer and or remove a medicinal product, the notified body prepares a clinical evaluation assessment report. This report sets out its conclusions concerning the clinical evidence provided by the manufacturer, in particular concerning the benefit-risk determination. This clinical evidence with the intended purpose including the medical indications and the PMCF plan is thereafter submitted 
along with the manufacturer's clinical evaluation documentation to the Commission. And that's it from us today on clinical investigations and evaluations. Until next time, goodbye! Hey there! Don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.